Hello friends. In this video, we are going to see some terms related to air conditioning. Basically, in case of air conditioning, the heat from the room is removed. So that heat is nothing but the total heat we are basically removing. So that total heat will be the addition or, or the sum of the sensible heat, sensible heat which is generated inside the room plus the latent heat which is generated inside the room okay so with respect to this we are we are having some terms we will see one by one so the first is the sensible heat factor okay which is also known to be the shf okay so this is the ratio of sensible heat to the total heat okay so sensible heat upon total heat where total is nothing but the sensible heat plus latent heat in short mathematically i can express this as the sensible heat SH divided by SH plus LH, where SH is sensible heat, LH is latent heat. So this is the sensible heat factor. The next one is the room sensible heat factor, RSHF. So room sensible heat factor is nothing but the sensible heat inside the room. So room sensible heat divided by room total heat. That is the room sensible heat factor. It is similar to that of SHF, only the room word has been added over here. So RSH, room sensible heat plus room latent heat that is the total heat so mathematically i can express this as the rsh upon rsh plus rlh the next one is the grand sensible heat factor here i am going to consider the outside air heat which is directly added to the room okay so here the gshf is the ratio of total sensible heat divided by grand total heat so the total sensible heat is nothing but the room sensible heat plus the outside air sensible heat. So it is given over here room sensible heat plus outside air sensible heat divided by room sensible heat plus outside air sensible heat. This is the what you can say the total sensible heat divided by plus sorry the room latent heat plus outside air latent heat. So this is the total latent heat. The addition of total sensible heat and total latent is nothing but the grand total heat. Whereas the outside air sensible heat and outside air latent heat will be given with the help of these two formulas. So this is the outside air sensible heat which we can calculate by using the formula 0.02044 this is the conversion factor into V1 into Td1 minus Td2 where Td1 and Td2 are the dry bulb temperature uh, with respect to inlet and outlet conditions of the air. The answer will be in kilowatt. And outside air latent heat will be the 50 V1 into W1 minus W2 which is again in kilowatt where W1 and W2 are the specific humidities at inlet and outlet. Now here the V1, this particular V1 is nothing but the volume flow rate. It's a volume flow rate of air at the inlet condition which is generally taken to be in meter cube per minute okay cubic meter per minute or meter cube per minute or cmm are one and the same okay it's a cubic meter per minute okay so that is the v1 value so this is the grand sensible heat factor the next factor is the effective room sensible heat factor effective room sensible heat factor so here again the ratio is same or the only thing is that i need to add the word effective room so it's a effective room sensible heat to to the effective room total heat ersh divided by erth where effective room sensible heat obviously when i need to calculate the effective room i am going to multiply this term by bypass factor okay so here room, room sensible heat plus outside air sensible heat into bypass factor divided by so this is the effective room sensible heat divided by effective room sensible heat plus effective room latent heat so this is nothing but the ersh this is ersh and this is nothing but the ER LH. So RSH plus OASH into bypass factor ERSH, RLH plus OLH into bypass factor ERLH. Okay. So here again uh, the same formula for outside air and out, outside air sensible and outside air latent will be taken. It's the same formula which we have seen in the previous case. So these are the various factors which are need to be calculated for getting the cooling load. Now we will see. Uh, the various uh, lines uh, drawn for getting the uh, conditions at various points okay so when the air is supplied to the room that cold air so how at what state that particular air is supplied 
what is the state of outside air what is the state of room all those points we are going to plot on the psychrometric chart and to get all those points these factors and these lines are uh, very helpful for us okay so we'll go one by one so the first line is the room sensible heat factor line basically this line is defined as the line which is joining the supply air condition and the room design condition for example you have let's say uh, this is the psychrometric chart i'm drawing over here okay assume that this is the outside air condition that is the point number one this is the point number two which is the room design condition fine okay this is the room design condition and <clears throat> you'll have the uh, supply air point somewhere over here let's say s1 okay so the line joining the supply air condition and the room design condition this is the supply air condition this is the room design condition this line is nothing but the rshf okay rshf line there is a procedure to get this particular line okay what is that procedure we'll see over here so initially what you are supposed to do you are supposed to calculate the rshf you're supposed to calculate the first step is to calculate the rshf by using the formula room sensible heat divided by room sensible heat plus room latent heat okay once you calculate that rshf mark that particular point on the rshf scale so you have seen the psychrometric chart so on the right hand side will be having the uh, shf scale here you can mark that particular point assume that you are marking over here so this is the rshf okay, this is the whatever rshf you have calculated then you are supposed the next step you connect this particular rshf uh, scale with the uh, alignment circle on the psychrometric chart okay now basically most of the time this alignment circle will be the uh, 26 degrees celsius and 50 percent rh or 25 degrees celsius and 50 percent rh okay so just a minute okay so if you observe the uh, psychrometric chart on the psychrometric chart basically you will see one dark point over here you will see one dark point okay so that dark point is nothing but the alignment circle so what you are supposed to do in the second step you are supposed to connect this alignment circle and the rshf scale and you are join these two points this particular line is known to be the baseline this is the baseline now what you are supposed to do to get the rshf line you're supposed to draw one parallel line to this particular baseline from the room design condition so this is the, it's the point number two in our case okay room design condition it's a point number two so from point number two i will draw one parallel line from this particular uh, point number two to this baseline so to the baseline i will draw one parallel line from the room design condition and on this particular rshf line somewhere over here i'll be having the supply condition maybe s1 s2 likewise okay i'll be having number of supply points so the rshf line will be getting by drawing the parallel line to the baseline and baseline we can get it by connecting the alignment circle with the rshf scale and for rshf scale i need to use this particular formula okay so this is how you can draw the rshf line the next one uh, just a minute yeah next one is the gshf line okay so the line which is joining the mixed condition and the supply air condition are uh, that line is known to be the gshf line okay so here you can see this is the outdoor condition this is the indoor condition and somewhere over here you have the mixed condition this outside air and the return air is getting mixed and because of that mixing you are getting the point number three mixed condition so if i connect this mixed condition with the supplier condition over here i can get the gshf line okay so the supply air point is on the rshf line as well as on the gshf line okay so intersection of gshf and rshf is nothing but the supply air condition supply air condition fine the next one ershf line okay so when i am connecting the room design condition this is basically the line connected between the room design condition and the apparatus dew point temperature of the coil okay so when i extend this gshf line towards the saturation curve 
wherever it is intersecting to the saturation curve, I will get the ADP apparatus dew point temperature. So if I connect this ADP with the room design condition, I am going to get the ERSHF scale okay, or is ERSHF line. Now this is the diagram which combines all the line, RSHF line, GSHF line, ERSHF line. So RSHF line, line joining room design condition and the supplier condition, GSHF line mixed condition and supplier condition and the ERSHF ADP and room design condition. Okay. Now this particular process 3, 4 will be the cooling process. The process 3 to 4 will be the cooling process and here the process 4 to 6 or the line 4 to 6 is the inefficiency of the coil which is known to be the bypass factor this is nothing but the bypass factor and this length is nothing but the one minus bypass factor fine so that is what about is the various terms in the psychrometric chart or the psychrometry or the air conditioning so these terms basically we are going to use to solve the numerical based on the air conditioning fine thank you